Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 33. In this tutorial we're going to create our minimap that's going to be in the bottom left corner of our screen. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. And if you've enjoyed this series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you learn things like early access, exclusive content, project files, and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So creating a minimap is actually something that is relatively easy. A lot of people would pin it down as being somewhat difficult but they don't know there is a real easy way to do it and all it really is is a camera that renders a top-down view of where we are and displays it onto some UI objects on our screen. So what I'd like to do is I want to have a bit of a two-tone version of the map down here. Um, so it's going to be on two objects but only one object is going to display the actual map itself. So let's get to it. Let's go to game object, go to UI and let's go to raw image. Let's double click so we can see where it is. And I want to anchor it to the bottom left corner. And then let's zero out the position. So how big do we want this to be? So I'm thinking I want the minimap to be round about 250 across by 150 uh, down. So I also want some buffer space around it, like I say, for that two-tone view of it. Um, so let's go with... Let's go with 260 across and 160 down and let's change to black and let's have about 100 on the alpha so it is translucent. While we're at it let's turn fade in off so we can actually see a little better and then let's move the map using the rec tool into its area. There we go. So let's rename this as mini map back so this is the background of it now let's right click and create another ui image and i'm going to uncouple this one out of it and i'm going to change the width to 250 and the height to 160 uh, 150 sorry not 160 so you can see the outline of our map around the edge so there's that kind of two-tone imagery of it and now let's drag that raw image back onto minimap Let's rename it to mini map render. So the mini map itself is going to render straight to this uh, UI object. So next thing to do is let's create that camera that renders the mini map because we have to make this camera slightly different than the other cameras that we have made previously. So let's zoom in on our player. And let's turn him on and turn the fake one off because we don't need that fake camera on at all we only need one camera to render the minimap so we only need it on this guy here and what we'll do is right click and create a camera and let's rotate it by 90 degrees on the x and this is the key this is where it really just starts displaying as a minimap and we should see the beginnings of it in this camera preview here so pull it upwards and above to however high you want it it doesn't have to be too high it doesn't have to be too low i'm gonna bring it to probably just above the buildings about there. Now we need this camera to display slightly differently as I mentioned earlier. We do not need it to be perspective. If you watch it change from perspective to orthographic you will see why we can't use perspective as the actual minimap. There we go. You can see already hopefully yes I know it's zoomed in but we now have a flat view rather than the perspective view. So the perspective view gives you a 3D look of the game, which you can have if you want to, but it's not quite going to work in the same way as a minimap normally would. Next thing to do is change the size so you can increase it to however far you want it to be. So probably about there, I'm thinking. That looks okay. Maybe a bit more. Let's... Uh... Have a hard number is 40. We'll do that. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to create a texture for this camera to render to. Because we don't want this camera to render to the actual screen that we see. We need it to render to a texture. So, in our textures folder down here, in City, let's right click 
create, and about halfway down the list, you'll see something called render texture. Let's call this mini map. Now there are plenty of settings over here, but in all fairness, again, Unity, its default settings are really decent and you can use everything so easily with its default settings. So I wouldn't recommend playing around with this too much at the moment. The only thing I would suggest is try and get this size a bit more accurate to what the minimap size is. So 256 by about 154 is probably going to be a decent size to work with. So how do we now make it so as the camera displays on this texture? Easy. We go to the camera and over here you'll see target texture. And what we can do is drag and drop this minimap onto that box there. So this texture is now going to be whatever this camera is rendering. So if this camera, for example, was us walking around, then this texture would display us walking around. So whatever is attached, whatever texture it's attached to is what you end up having displayed. So let's rename this camera to mini map cam. And if we go down here to mini map render and texture, there where it says none, let's drag and drop minimap onto there. Now let's double click on minimap back and we can see there is our minimap on our screen. So I'll point out here that when we test this out, it is going to look a bit peculiar. The reason being is simply because we haven't altered the sequence of events, i.e. to display the map when we actually start running as our character. And the fact that um, obviously it shouldn't display when our fake character is on at the very beginning where it pans down. So the minimap's going to look a little bit strange there. But either way, let's test this out and see how it looks. So we need to put fade in back on. And let's move minimap above that fade in. Uh, turn the contract killer off and put the fake back on. And press play. And let's see how this looks now. It should at least look presentable when we're running around. So, like I said, the minimap's going to look empty. Yep, so the minimap's empty there. That's because no camera is rendering at the moment to display on there, but it does appear now. And there we go. There is our minimap. It's looking fairly decent, so I'm quite happy with how that is looking. So, there are a couple of things that we can deal with. Uh, the first is going to be where our player is, because on the map we can't really see it. And I guess you can use your own sprites for this. If you go onto Google, get like an arrow uh, PNG image and use that as a sprite. I'm just gonna do the cheap option for now, to be honest, um, just to make it quicker. But the principle is still going to be the same. So on the minimap render, if we right click, Go to UI and let's go to raw image again. And I'm going to decrease this to three by three and also change the color to blue. And what this will do is it will give us a better indication of our player. In fact, now I think about it, I don't think I want it on the render. I want it on the back. So it should be like that. There we go. So I'm going to put this as player marker. And like I said, you can use a PNG for this if you want to as a sprite, an arrow, a star, whatever. It's entirely up to you. But it still works the same way. It's going to display exactly where our player is on the minimap. I thought I changed it to blue, but obviously I didn't. Anyway, we can see there on the minimap we have that little white dot. There is our player. Uh, I'll quickly change that to blue. There we go. Okay, so the last thing I want to do here is we have a mission area set. How are we going to display that on our minimap? Again, that's actually really easy. I'm going to use a plane for this. And again, you could use your own imagery. I'm just going for the cheap, quick option to make things uh, flow quicker. But let's go to uh, the mission start there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to 3D object and let's go with plane. Obviously it needs to decrease quite a lot. So let's have that as 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, still too big, but it might actually do. 
So we are using a very odd, it may seem a very odd technique um, to display things on a minimap, but it's actually very clever. So the reason I'm using a plane is because it's rendering this side. However, it's not rendering there. So the camera looking down is going to see it, but when the player or anything else camera is looking upwards, it's not going to see it. So what we'll do is we'll use this to our advantage. So let's have this roundabout there. So that is directly above our mission start. And this is going to look a bit strange, I think, to begin with, but it's something that we can refine. So let's press play. And again, this may look a little bit strange when the minimap starts. There we go. So we can see already our plane needs to be brought upwards. So if I bring it further up to about there, we can see on our minimap now, there is our mission start point. So what we'll do is we will bring our plane. Let me just couple the game view back to there. So that plane, we'll bring that to about 700, I think. Is that, yeah, that should be okay. And let's also change the color of it because our mission start point is orange. Let's also have this marker as orange. So let's go to our materials, uh, right click, create, let's go uh, material. I'll have this as orange matte, uh, change the color. So orange, a nice kind of bright, vibrant orange, I guess. And let's attach that to plane. And I'm going to mark this as mini map lock, short for location. So now, finally, let's press play again. And we should have something that looks a little bit more representative of our location. And again, you can use um, any kind of sprite to this if you want to. It's, it's entirely up to you. But fundamentally, it's the exact same way. There we go, we can see on our map, right there. Cool. So I think as well, we could probably increase the size of this. I mean, what happens if we set this to one by one? You can see just how much that has an effect on the minimap, but it has created a shadow here. So that's something bug testing we need to sort out. Let's have that as probably 0 0.5, 0 0.5, still too big, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Yeah, okay, we'll have 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Uh, maybe change the shader a little bit or something. There we go. I think I'm quite happy with that. So, that now, uh, let's turn off the shadows for that. So cast shadows off on our minimap location. Uh, we don't want it to receive shadows either because theoretically we want this to just be invisible to everything except that camera and now it is. So that is how we fundamentally get a nice, quick, easy minimap in place in our game. Now things are coming together quite nicely. Next tutorial what I want to do is I want to bring in that phone UI. So I want a phone to come up on screen when we start the mission. I want to get the sequence of events together to only bring that minimap on when we're starting the actual game. And yeah, I want to bring a couple of things together next tutorial, ready for when we actually really do start that mission. And that's coming up very, very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to keep up to date with that. So until the next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.